Hello guys, this is Captain Skeppy and this is just a brief tutorial video on how to set up the Armored 2.1 server files or client files so you can actually play with us lovely people over at the Midnight Game Moon Armored server. So first of all guys, you want to go over and start up your Google Chrome, fire it up or whatever you use, Firefox or Internet Explorer, please don't use it. Um, and then you want to scroll down on our website midnightgaming.tv is guys and then go and search for the um, foreign post by Ruffle it's in the daisy section but I'll put the link in the description for you guys again and um, basically the first post is what we've added the IP the host name and stuff like that and um, but if you scroll down to the third post there's an actual link and if you click that it'll come up with this armored 2.1 download um, cancel that that um, and then once that's downloaded guys what you want to do is downloads there we go where is it showing folder click that go to your folder double click it and it'll open this go away close this down and um, basically you want to extract this to anywhere you like your desktop or anything where you usually do that but inside is actual You've got the armored folder file and you've got the keys now what you want to do is you want to extract these to your desktop so i'll do that now extract desktop go this takes a little bit so i'll cut out the overall time for this and then we'll come back so once that's downloaded guys and it's extracted and it's on your desktop or wherever you put it what you want to do is you want to go down into your computer and then wherever your actual Operation Arrowhead folder is mine's in Steam up there uh, Steam apps. So what I'm going to go down to Steam apps, Steam, and then Steam apps there. Click Common Operation Arrowhead, and then what you want to do is you want to drag your ARM or two folder that you just extracted to your desktop into there. That's fine, and then this folder, double click, it'll open that. And then go down to keys. There's a there's a file there called keys. You want to just drag that in there. Done. Close that. Delete that folder. And that's now in your keys folder. So when you try and start up the server, you can actually start it up. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna start this up. It takes a little minute. So guys, once you're actually at the main menu of your game, what you want to do is, if you've noticed here, what I've got open is at our mod 2, at DayZ. This has to be the latest DayZ patch, guys. Um, expansions and beta are uh, completely, op completely optional, I'm pretty sure. Um, so once you've got them enabled, go to your filter, filter for Ruffle Pie, or on the website there's an actual full remote IP that you can search for. Um, I just searched for Ruffle Pie though, double click it, and you're pretty much away. All you just have to do is go and download the Armod folder from the media file link that's on the website, and it takes literally 20 minutes if you've got a decent connection. Might take a little bit longer if you've not, but yeah, definitely check it out, guys. We're all going to be playing on there tomorrow, and hopefully, we can fill the server up. It's an 80 slot server right now, so 80 people on Daisy with Armod is going to be off the chain. So guys, this has been a brief tutorial on how to set up Armod on our DayZ server. I will see you guys in the next video.